Hi. In this video, I will demonstrate the basic concepts of how to ingest VCN flow logs into Logging Analytics Service. At the end of this video, I will point you to additional information like the Quick Start Guide and the um, Cloud Customer Connect Forum, where you can post questions. The Logging Analytics Service can be found from the hamburger menu on the left-hand side under Monitoring and Diagnostics. If this is the first time you're using the service, you will need to onboard the service for your region by adding the required user and service policies as shown here. Now, in the interest of time, I'm going to pause the video and I'll restart it once I've created those policies in my region. Now that I have onboarded the service, the first step I need to do is enable log collection in my VCN. I select my VCN, in this case it's VCN-DAMO, select the subnet I want to collect logs from, select logs on the left hand side, and toggle the switch to enable logs. Now before I enable the logs, please note that a log group will be created automatically for us in the logging service. Log groups are a way to organize and grant access to your logs. We also need to create log groups in Logging Analytics Service. We go to Administration and select Log Groups on the left-hand side. Create Log Group and give it a name. And in this case, I'll call it Demo VCN Logs. Now that the log group has been created, the next step is to configure the service connector. This will allow us to send logs from the logging service to the logging analytics service. There are a few ways we can do this. For this video, I'll be using the Service Connector Hub. Click Create Service Connector. On this screen, provide a name for the service connector. I'll call this sc-vcn-demo. Ensure that you're in the right compartment and select the source, which in this case would be logging and the target, which will be logging analytics service. Now, what we're doing here is telling the service connector to pick up the VCN logs from the logging service and send them to logging analytics, where we can do some more deeper analysis. We further then fine grain the configuration by telling the connector which log group and logs we want to send. And further down, we configure the target and provide the log group, which in this case is demo-vcn-logs. Now, you'll notice that I have a policy that needs creating for the service connector. And if I, as soon as I click create, it will create it automatically for me. And finally, I will press create. Now that the service connector has been configured, we can go to the Logging Analytics service and look at the Log Explorer to see the actual logs. From here, I can select my VCN logs from the log source. And from here, I can now start to analyze the logs. For example, I can change the visualization to show my network logs in a line graph. I can then go ahead and save this graph and later put it on a dashboard. This is an example dashboard that will be available soon, showing some of the most common widgets for VCN flow logs, like outbound traffic and inbound traffic based on protocols. The dashboard will auto populate once logs are ingested into logging analytics. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.